I'm Joshua Finn from J and H Aerospace, and this is the P1S glider that we are now importing from China. This is kind of similar uh, as far as kind of the purpose and whatnot to your Carbonet 12 uh, series, maybe even more towards uh, like your one sheet glider. Uh, it's designed for to be very simple, easy to assemble, no sanding or anything required. You just uh, basically tape, glue it up, etc., and off you go. Um, there are a, a few little parts that we're, we're still working out, so the parts fits a little bit tight on these, but um, it's still a very, very nice airplane, easy to fly, accommodates catapult launch and, and so on, uh, hand launch, etc. So very good for kids and whatnot. Uh, there are no written instructions for this airplane at this time. There are some basic descriptives on the back, uh, but it is in Chinese because this is predominantly uh, intended not, uh, you know, so much for sale on the U.S. market as it is for STEM projects actually inside China. But we were able to get uh, a shipment of these. Uh, we'll be importing more in the future, and um, I think it's a very, very good product for for young people and anybody wanting to get started in chuck gliders. This is this is a really solid, simple, inexpensive airplane. To get started, we'll go ahead and pop the kit open here. Attempt to. There we go. It is very secure. And then, make sure I've got everything out. Yes, I do. Uh, so you've got a hardwood fuselage here. Um, I'm actually not sure what wood this is. It looks kind of like Polonia wood. Um, we've got a bag of parts here. And these are your flying surfaces. Make sure I get all of them out. So you should have um, left and right wing, um, vertical tail, and horizontal tail. And then you've got double sided tape that you can use to attach everything, or you can use uh, packing tape and a little bit of glue, which is what we're going to do. Um, that's just because that's what I personally prefer. And then your plastic uh, parts here. Watch out, there are two little metal pieces. Don't lose those. Those are for nose ballast. Um, now the kit that I've got here, I don't know if this one's unique uh, to this one, um, but I got two wing saddles. So um, I think one is a production, one's pre-production. I don't know. Um, this was the first one in the box. Uh, the thing I do know is that there is some flashing inside here that you do want to uh, remove if at all possible because uh, it does make the wing mount fit um, frankly a little tighter than I would like for it to. And by that I mean very tight. Um, but once you clean that out, it should open things up and we can then start working on sliding the fuselage in. Mine is fitting quite tightly, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand off of the top a little bit, or not the top, this is the bottom. I'm going to sand that down. And then we'll sand the sides a little bit. And so the, the first hundred or so of these are going to have this, uh, but we're working with uh, Wen Yi Company to, um, to refine their airplanes. They have already responded. Uh, those of you that gave feedback on the Sky Voyagers, um, they have already responded on some of that uh, to improve some of the mounting um, issues there. So... I mean, you can just ram this thing down in here, but um, my hands were not 
we're not really cooperating with it. Let's see here. I think my problem is I still just have too much flashing down in there that I have not removed. <coughs> problem is I was going from the wrong direction. Now it slides on beautifully. Now there is a little bit of play here. Um, some of that's my fault because I sanded things a little too much. Um, and I'll get a metric ruler here in a minute and we'll get the, the wing positioned uh, perfectly. Um, but the, the main thing is your next step is you're going to want to attach the wings here like so. And I'm actually going to use, uh, if you use um, Gorilla CA, it is largely foam safe. Try not to get it on the very edges here, but underneath, um, it's uh, it plays just fine with. And, okay, it was just taking me a little while to get the glue down. There we go. So just a thin little bead of CA along here. Like I said, you don't have to use CA. You can use the included double stick tape. Um, I just find that for me personally, this works a little better. And try to not glue this dead center slightly, offset it to uh, the side that the wing's on so that you allow for the thickness of the two wings. Um, that's already secured, perfect. Um, I'm gonna put glue over here on this side. And again, we'll kind of flex in our, our airfoil into the wing. It is pre-scored for that. And this time you just slide that wing up against the other one. Just like so. Next step is we'll take our tail surface uh, mount here. And so this has a little uh, square tube at the front and it has uh, an offset rib here and, and whatnot. So what, what you're going to do is flip this over so you've got the square tube and the little triangle up front and your horizontal stab, this is the bottom of it, mates in like so. So it just keys in front and back very, very nicely. Now for your vertical tail, Again, this is facing forward, so we mount it with the straight uh, going forward because there's little tabs back here for trimming the airplane. And what we're going to do is, if you notice, this is offset to one side, so we put the vertical stab on the other side. I will mention, if you do use uh, CA Accelerator, um, like what I've got here, make sure it is the foam safe kind. Um, and also the other thing I'll mention is try to press the stab up fully against this. It is curved a little bit to give you just a slight little airfoil on the horizontal stab. And that's very useful because it just helps improve the efficiency of your airplane uh, that much more. the tail slips on like so. Um, there is a little bit of play here in the tail, so you want to make sure that it's fully on there uh, and seated. And then check, basically sight down here along the fuselage to make sure you don't have uh, a whole bunch of uh, positive incidents. You want to have the uh, rudder just be set at zero, zero. So may have to push it up a little bit like this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is pop mine back off. I'm going to squirt glue in there. Pop it back in place. And my rudder is centered perfectly. Um, I need that little bit of extra up there. And now I've run out of something to dip CA on this. So I'm just going to grab some random, 
C A accelerator, I mean. There we go. So that should be just right. Another way to check is just set it on the table. You can see the rest of the airplane rests level along there. Um, the last thing, I'm not sure what this piece is up here, um, but I'm going to pop it off and then just slide the nose of the plane on here, just like that. And so now uh, you could glue this and what have you. Um, I'm going to go get some packing tape though to secure this uh, wing reinforcing piece. If you're going to throw the airplane really hard, you want to make sure you have this on there to prevent the wings from folding up. It also helps protect them from abuse and whatnot because young kids are going to kind of bash it around and whatnot. Take a piece of packing tape, like I was mentioning, you need to um, take a little bit of this and we're going to just cut two small uh, rectangles of it off. We're going to use that to secure our wing mount. And again, there is double stick tape um, supplied that you can also use. Um, the instructions do recommend, though, using packing tape over the top. And that does two things. One is that it helps secure it just that little bit better. It also helps air it helps fare this into the top surface of the wing so it doesn't damage the aerodynamics quite as much. And then after that you want to look for your CG. Right now mine's pretty far aft. So I'm going to take both of the little pieces of metal here and we'll drop them into the nose of the plane. on there fairly securely. CG is still a little far aft, so I'm going to slide the wing back a little more. Yeah, still maybe a little. And there we go. So um, currently my CG is about here. I may need to um, add a little bit more lead up front or, um, or a better way is to just take, and I'll show this on camera, Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't have any clay. Never mind. Um, but you can put some clay up here and further uh, shift the CG forward. Um, now, that so that completes your construction. So let's talk about a few things you can do with this airplane. Um, this airplane is under 12 inches span and 3 inches cord. So it is legal for AMA catapult launch glider. Now, the one thing you'll want to watch in trying to catapult this is to make sure that your fingers... Um, if you're holding here or here, that they don't catch on the, um, on the horizontal tail. So keep an eye on that. Um, there is enough clearance that you should be able to, to do that, but you've got to be careful. Um, other things, this airplane, if you clip the wings by, uh, so this is a 30 centimeter span, so if you clip uh, one centimeter off of each wing, bring it down to 28 centimeters, it is legal for Science Olympiad Elastic Launch Glider. I don't know what the weight of this airplane is, uh, so you'll have to watch that. It, it's it's going to be fairly close to the 10 gram maximum, um, but it is eligible for that. Uh, big thing uh, that you do want to watch, though, you may want to put a little shim under here if your wing rocks back and forth a little like mine to keep the um, incidence adjustments um, wh where you want them. Um, but the bottom line is that's really all there is required to uh, to build this airplane out and then for uh, flying refer to some of our trimming videos I'll link a few down below we'll show uh, some videos where we're flying this airplane but I've got a, a, a pretty good collection now of trimming videos and I recommend you look at those so that concludes the sky shuttle the p1s0 from when ye models um, hosted in this case by J and H Aerospace. Check out uh, the product link in the description, and we hope to see you at the flying field enjoying Chuck gliders. See ya! Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J and H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.